Okay. So I am Jennifer from the Crypto Crew. And um, if you want, you can go ahead and tell me about your encounter. Okay. It was uh, October uh, 29th of uh, last year. Me and my son are stationed in uh, Lewis McCord, uh, uh, which is probably Fort Lewis in Washington State. Uh, we decided to go hiking up Mountaineer. And uh, we went up there. It was early in the morning. And I uh, up to uh, Paradise, which is a resort up there. <coughs> and... Uh, we went up there, we were following, uh, we saw some bear tracks and some elk, and uh, then I found some footprints, and we started taking pictures of them, and then we started smelling something real foul, and uh, and we were looking around, trying to look at the edge of the wood line, which is maybe 30 yards from us or something, it wasn't too far, but uh, it was, snow flurries were coming down, and you couldn't see that far in there, so. We wanted to go up to the glacier and stuff, and uh, it was getting kind of bad, so I told my son, let's go ahead and go down, and uh, we'll go find a trail down the mountain that, you know, where snow ain't there. So we went back to the parking lot, loaded up our gear, and I told him, uh, let's go to the to the gift shop and, you know, buy some souvenirs before we go down, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went to the gift shop, and uh, as soon as we walked in, we walked by uh, two rangers at a desk, and uh, they were talking about Bigfoot. You know, my son heard them, you know, I didn't hear them, you know, and... Uh, so I said, well, we'll come back, let's go buy some stuff, then we'll come back and talk to him. <clears throat> so we went and purchased what we were going to get and came back, and I stopped him. And I asked him, excuse me, gentlemen, you know, can I show you some pictures? And they said, sure, you know. So I started showing the bear tracks and everything. And they said, oh, that's a bear, you know, that's a nice bear, you know. And I showed them the other footprints out, uh, they didn't want to talk to us no more. Oh, you're kidding. And, uh, yeah, and uh, that was kind of weird, you know. And uh, so we finally left and went down a mountain, a couple, about two or three miles, and, uh, we found a trail there, and uh, as soon as you walked in, uh, the, the, I guess the main trail went to the left, and we saw a little trail, you know, a big old tree that falling there, you know. So I said, well, let's try that one first, you know, because I thought it was the main trail, you know. So uh, we went around that big tree, and there was a little opening there, and we maybe 30 by 40 feet across. And we went across it, and it was a little bit like a trail, so we went up there about 100 yards, and he couldn't go any farther, you know, all the old trees were falling everywhere and stuff, so. We turned back around, and when I got to that little clearing that we first came in, I looked to my right, and uh, the ground was flat, and then it went up like a hill, so you couldn't see on top. So I squatted down because there was a, a big tree uh, live in front of me. So I squatted down to look up the hill, and when I did, I just saw something black stop and turn around. Wow. And it was leaning against a tree, and uh, I stopped my son and said, hey, come here, look at this, you know. And he said, uh, Dad, what do you see? And I said, come here, you know. And uh, when they looked up there, we were like, wow, you know. So I'm trying to put on my cell phone, you know, because that's all I, that's all I had at the time, I'm trying to take pictures, and it's just a uh, zoom on it, you know, because I had an auto focus, just kept going in and out, in and out. But we're sitting there and uh, looking at it, and, you know, it's looking at us, so I took out, out, of, out of, uh, a monocular, you know. Mm -hmm. And I pulled it out of my bag, and I, you know, I dropped my bag, I pulled it out, and I started looking at it, and as soon as I saw the forehead, you know, yeah, you, you see the, like, wrinkle, almost like on a person that they would have on the forehead, you know, and and the skin was sort of like a dark, black, brownish color, like, you know, kind of like a leather jacket. Mm -hmm. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I kind of panicked a little bit, and I gave it to my son. I told him, you tell me what you see. And he started looking, and he's, he's real excited. Oh, my God, it's real, you know. And, and uh, we're sitting there, and... and, and and just that time, it, it leaned over like it wouldn't take a better look at us. <laughs> and you can see the you can see the the sun between it, its body and the tree come through when it leaned over. Oh wow! And just when I when I went to tell my son it moved, he told me that it moved, it moved. And I said yes, it did. I saw it, you know. And uh, you can see the wind when a when a wind would, a breeze would come through. You can see the the hair moving on its body. And could you tell how tall it was? Oh, it was pretty big. I mean, it was about 150 yards from us, but. You know, them trees are real huge. I don't I don't know what state you're from, but... Uh, Washington. And, uh, oh, you well, you know them trees, how big them trees are, you know? Yeah. And uh, it was wider than them trees. And I know I couldn't hug around one of them trees. Oh, wow. And uh, I, I'll say at least, uh, you know, I said, I know the shoulder was, that had been at least four foot across. Oh, no. You know, so, I, you know, it had been around between eight and nine foot around there. Uh, it was solid black. Uh... You can see uh, sometimes, in the, like I said, the trees will move through the weeds. You can see the sun shine off of the shoulders and his head, you know, the, like a reflection. Uh, and what time you know? of day was this? 
we stood there. I don't know, you know, like, I don't know how long we stood there. You know, it could have been five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes. I don't know, but we, you know, it's just like time stood still. You know, and uh, so finally, you know, I told him, you know what, let's get out of here. You know, because I was feeling uneasy about it. You know, because you know that was the first time I ever, you know, happened. You know, you don't expect something like this to happen. But no, you're very yeah, lucky. But, uh, so you know, we got our stuff, and the car was maybe uh, ten, twenty yards away. You know, it was right at the edge of that trail, my car was parked. So we walked to the car, and we put that stuff on, and I said, you know, we're fixing me, I go, I gotta, we gotta go back in there just to make sure, you know, because I started doubting myself, now nah, we didn't see this, you know. So we walked back in there to look, you know, to look, uh, look again, and when we did, it was gone. Wow. Yeah. And did you get any pictures of it? I did one. But it's so far away. It looks like it's so far away they, they they couldn't work on it. They couldn't zoom it in because it's from the cell phone. Oh wow! And yeah. um, when you guys were standing there watching it, um, did it make any sort of vocalizations at you guys? No, no. It just it stood there like it was more interested than us, we were him, you know. Yeah. And uh, it, it was. Uh, I don't know. It was. It was kind of like a. Uh, I don't know. If I was scared, or just nervous, or you know. A lot of people always tell me, well, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? But, you know, when something like that happens, you don't realize you know, what you're doing, you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I've been through some tough situations, and this is uh, totally different. It really freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Bet it did. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for um, telling me your story. Um, that's great. I live in the area, so it's always interesting when I hear yeah. stories yeah. that's here in Washington. Do you still have the pictures of the footprints that you took? Yeah, but uh, yeah, right now a friend of mine is working on them. He wants to write a little story about them and stuff okay. before you know. Yeah. But, uh, he wants to put them out on his site. You know, so. oh. but, uh, you know he, he, meets, he meets a lot of good people out there. You know, I know there's some that a lot of people don't get along, you know, and, uh, you know, send hopes, you know, put out hopes and stuff like that. You know, I'm not like that. You know, I'm as honest as it can be, you know. Yeah. Like I said, you know, me and my son knew what we saw, and, uh, and I know they're real. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to stop until, you know, I see one again. Yeah, I would love to see one. I haven't, but I do know they're real. Yeah, well, I know they're real. I'm telling you. I mean, it was, like I said, it was kind of scary and awkward moment, but, it, you know, when I got, we got back to his house on base, you know, I just thought to myself, you know, I've done a lot of good things in my life, you know, and. Okay, I mean, I jumped out of airplane, you know, climbed down cliffs. I mean, you know, I've done it, but this was the uh, most, I mean, the best experience I've ever had in my life, I'll tell you. Oh, I you would know. love to have stood in your shoes. You know, I, you know to me, I, I feel content now that after the rest of my life, I know I accomplished what I really wanted to accomplish, you know, and, and I think that was the ultimate right there. Ah, oh, that's my ultimate. I will definitely yeah. be starting and, uh, hiking an expedition just to see one for myself. Yeah, no, I just said, you know, um, some people say it's just a chance or luck, you know, or, you know, but I, to me, uh, you know, I've, I've been finding a lot of stuff lately that, you know, I think I'm lucky, I'm very lucky, you know, I mean, also I've been to a lot of, a lot of people, you know, groups that go out with them and stuff, and I'm taking a lot of these trips with them, you know. Yeah. So, you know, it's worked out pretty good. You were very but, lucky. Uh, very, very fortunate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was scary work, but I think about it, you know. And just by looking at it and stuff, you know, I don't think it wanted to hurt us, you know. Yeah. It, it's, it looked like it was just more curious, you know, just sitting there just wondering about what we were doing, you know, what we, we were thinking of, you know, that we were doing the same thing to him, you know. And from what you saw, did it have more human-like facial features than Well, I, I, I couldn't see the face, too. The eyes and stuff, you know, but it, was, it was like that. But I could see the, just the top of the forehead real good. I mean, the body and everything was... I don't know, you know, to me, it, you know, it reminded me of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a huge football player with shoulder pads, you know, broad shoulders, you know, and the, and the head was was uh, like sunken into the shoulder pads. I mean, that's, that's what it reminds me of a football player. Yeah. You know, they're just black and covered in hair, you know. Yeah. And the face, though, wasn't covered in hair. It was a leather uh, skin. You know, what? like I said, when I, when I saw that forehead, I, I kind of like panic. It freaked me out. <laughs> and I told my son, you look at it, you know. It's really what you see, and uh, and uh, it was it was it was really amazing, you know. I I, I really don't know how to tell you how you know the reaction, you know. I mean, just 
like I said, everything, I don't know if it went so fast or so in slow motion, but, but uh, it was unbelievable, you know, and, and uh, I hope it happens again, like I said, you know, and I'm ready this time, I, like I said, I wouldn't have bought any cameras, I mean, I bought me all kinds of equipment, cause I, you know, I go hiking a lot, and you know, I'm just going to make it even add a little, a little extra to the hiking, you know. Oh, that's great. I hope yeah. you get to see another one again. And, uh, but like I said, I hope you do too, you know. I mean, it was well worth it. I mean, just, just the time spending out in the outdoors was well worth it. You know, watching the uh, Pacific Northwest is a beautiful place, you know, and I, I, you know, I respect it, you know, the wilderness, but and it's an amazing place. I love it, and especially yeah. the Mount Rainier area where you went is extremely beautiful. Yeah. And we see how well that is all flat and hot and dry, you know, we're feeling everybody. And, uh, but uh, like I said, uh, just keep looking, keep searching, you know. Maybe you get lucky, or um, I don't know. Well, well thank <laughs> you so much. For you. Thank you. I appreciate you um, talking to me and telling me your story. There's no problem. Okay. Well, um, I'm sure I'll message you later. Okay. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, if you need anything else, just let me know, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. Okay, you have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.